Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Classroom for features. Okay, so this is one of the classes I had made. I do have a couple of students right here, right? And I have graded some as well. As you can see, if I click on done right here, you can see I have graded some here and I have assigned some classworks. I even created a copy of this class. I'm going to show you exactly how to do everything from scratch. Okay. So this is the home section. This is where you'll be. And if you want to go ahead and create a class, you can come here at the top right and click on create or join a class. For our purpose, we're going to create a class as we are a teacher. Now, toggle this one on and then click on continue. Now I need to enter a class name. Let's do biology, right? 11th grade. Okay. You can do a section, you can do subject room as well. But I'll just leave this as the class name. This is the one that is required. These are not even required. You don't even need to fill these in. Then just go ahead and click on create. Okay. Now we have created this class and it's very easy and simple to invite people. So this is the class code. You can copy this and share this. Okay. Or you can click on these three dots and click on copy class code. And then you can also click on copy class invite link. Okay, and then other people will be able to join using this invite link. Now, let's say this invite link fell into hands of unauthorized people and they have been joining your class. You can go ahead and reset your class code as well and use a new class code, right? And what you can also do is turn it off. So let's say you had a intake period and after that you are not taking in more students, you can turn it off entirely as well. Okay, here is where you make announcements to your class. You say, for example, hello. And now this is for all the students. Okay, you can go ahead and post this. You can attach YouTube videos, right? You can upload files, links, and uh, Google Drive files as well. You can go ahead and make this bold, italic, things like that. Okay, I'll just go ahead and post this for now. Of course, you can also schedule them. Now, here we go. So I've said hello. And here, as you can see, I don't have anyone yet. So I can come and click on invite students. Or right, you can use this link or you can type in everyone's email addresses and invite them that way. So for example, if I invite this person right here, they have been invited. Of course, you can use the code as well or use the invite link. For example, let me go ahead and paste this link right here and I'm going to show you how people can join, right? So this is what they see and then they can join any class like that as a student. So if I come back here, this person should now be one of the students. Once this is done, as you can see, I have joined here. So if I refresh, it should show me as a student of this class. Okay, there we go. And of course, at any time, you can go ahead and email the student. You can remove them or even mute them. Maybe if they are typing inappropriate things in the forum. Okay. Now here, if you come to classwork, you can click on create. You can create assignments, quiz assignments, a question. You can post material, you know, study notes. You can uh, reuse posts, even do topics. So I'll show you an example for a quiz assignment. And you can make this graded, right? You can go ahead and do ungraded as well. So let's say we do 100 points, right? Can do a title, let's say biology quiz, right? Of course, you can use Google Forms to do this, or you can attach files. So we'll do biology quiz. And now you add instructions, answer in a separate section. Okay. In the same Word document. There we go. We can do that. And of course, you can make this one bold, right? This one, and then this one as well right the important stuff and now you can attach so we can use our uh, drive for this so let's say you had uploaded the work to your uh, google drive so we have this one biology quiz right it's very easy and simple to upload you just come click on upload you can drag and drop or browse through your file so i'll come here choose the biology quiz add this as 100 points due date we can set one right here 
let's set it for tomorrow. Of course, you can add a time as well. So I'll press OK. This is optional. And there we go. You can go ahead and close submissions after the due date. So no one can submit after the time has elapsed. You can go ahead and add topics if you wish. But this one is a general, you know, biology quiz. Of course, you can automate things with Google Forms as well. And, you know, Word documents are the best when you are using things like, let's say, essays, right? You have to read those. So here we go. So now students can view the file and let's let them also edit the file if they want. So here we're going to assign this to all the students or you can choose specific students as well or deselect others, right? I'll just do done for all of them and then just click on assign. So there we go. We have assigned uh, to this student. And so I'm going to show you how to do grades as well. So let's say this student has submitted his work. You can come here and grade him. Let's say 99 out of 100, right? And it's currently saving as a draft first. So what you can do is click on these three dots and then click on uh, return right? So if I click on this, so we'll return this work to that student, they'll be notified. And they can check any grade that you have given them, you can also add a private comment, saying a good job, William, All right, there we go, return this to the student, and they'll be able to see their grades as well. Okay, here we can see the class average, right? All, all the people in here. And I'll show you something else. Okay, this is a neat trick you can go ahead and use. So these are all the people in my other class. And these are the grades I've assigned so far. And what you need to do is this, okay. So let's say I come click on home. And I teach the same class, you know, the same thing every year. And I assign the same quizzes, the same notes, what I can do is I can make a copy of a class. Okay. Now before that, I'll show you how to archive one. So I will just archive this one. Okay, click on next. And then just archive this so everything will be archived. And now I'll create a copy of this one. So I'll click on these three dots, click on copy. And we're going to be creating a copy of this class. So we'll do uh, biology 10th grade 2026, right? Or, or 2025. Let's see the other one was 2024. And then just click on copy. And everything will be copied the topics, the classwork items, everything. The only thing that will not be copied is the announcements, right? No announcements will be copied here, you will have your new class code to share it with students, right? And of course, there's no one here yet, we have to invite them, right? It's a fresh class. But the classwork and things like that are saved as a draft. And whenever you want, you can come click on edit and then just click on assign, right? You publish everything, set a due date and assign. Really that easy and simple.